So you're looking to add subtitles to your videos with the tap of a button. Animate them, style them, then optimize them for social media all from your phone. I got you covered. Hi guys, it's Lauren here from Veed and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily add subtitles on your iPhone with the Veed Captions app. You can record yourself, add instant automatic captions, style them to suit your brand, and even translate them into over 100 languages to help you reach a wider audience. Now for this, we're gonna need to download the Veed Captions app. Open up the app store on your phone, hit search, type in captions, and then download the Veed app. I'm gonna pop a link for this down in the description. You can go ahead, you can pause the video until you've downloaded the free app to your mobile phone. Then we can get started. All right guys, so I've got my app downloaded. I'm gonna open it up. It's gonna pop up here asking us if we wanna upgrade. We're gonna X out of that. Then we're gonna hit the blue plus sign down the bottom. Now you can choose a video here from your camera roll or you can opt to record yourself now in real time, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit record and just say, Hey guys, it's Lauren here from Veed and I'm going to show you how to easily add captions right within your iPhone. Let's do it. Okay, so you can play that back, see if you like it. If not, you can hit retake, but if you are happy, just hit use video. Give that a moment here and now we can add our automatic captions. So I'm going to click language here and then you can choose from any language that you're speaking in. I'm speaking in English, so I'm just going to type in English to show you that you've got three different options here. This is basically based on the dialect and the spelling. So like in the UK, we would spell color with a U. In the US, they wouldn't. That sort of thing. My audience is in the UK. I'm going to hit English UK. If I wanted to, I could hit translate here and we can translate our captions from English into over 100 languages, but I'm happy with what I've got. So I'm going to hit back, back again, and then hit add English captions. And that's just going to take a few seconds here to automatically generate our captions for us. Okay, so we're going to watch it back now and check for any errors. I've already spotted one. So let me pause the video here. I'm going to scroll back to the top. It said feed instead of feed. So what I'm going to do is click on the word that's wrong. Then I can hit it on screen. I'm going to delete that feed and change it to feed. All right, next thing we can do is we can add a certain emphasis here to some of the words. So for instance, feed, let's change the color of that. We're gonna click on the white circle. You can choose from any of these colors you see here or click on the multicolored circle icon and then that's gonna open up a grid or you can choose from a spectrum or sliders. On the grid, I'm gonna choose yellow and then we've got that in yellow. And if I hit the X here, I can also make it unbold, make it bold again, italic and underline it. And you can repeat that as many times as you like. And once you're finished, click done, and now we can style it. So we're gonna click the paintbrush here. That's gonna open up some presets. We've got loads of built-in ones here. I quite like this purple one. I'm gonna choose that. However, I do wanna change the font. So I'm gonna hit the font tab here. And now if I scroll over it, you can pick from any of these fonts. Let me choose Montserrat. Yeah, I like that. You can change the color. I'm happy with mine. Don't need to do that. You can change the alignment, the lines per screen, no limit one or two, the line length, short, medium or long. Then you can also change the decoration, adding emphasis, uppercase, lowercase, that sort of thing. You can change the effect next. If you like, you can choose shadow, outline, thick outline, rounded, block, but I quite like the originals. So we're going to stick with that. And lastly, animation. You can just click on these here to test them out and see how they look. Impact is just one word at a time. I like the original one, so I'm going to click box highlight. Now I'm going to tap on my screen here. I'm happy with how it looks. Last thing we need to do though is position those. So make sure that we optimize it for social media. If you just use both fingers here, you can push it in, make it smaller. You can drag it around the screen. Just make sure that it stays somewhere around here so that it remains visible throughout the video. Now we're happy with it, we can click the blue tick. And here we can test it out to make sure that it is optimized for social media. So if I click it there on Reels, you'll see text remains visible, TikTok we're good, YouTube we're good, and Snapchat were perfect. All right, down below here, we can choose to export it as standard, high definition or 4K. I'm gonna choose HD, hit export. It's gonna take a few seconds here. And now we can hit share. You can save that directly here to your video on your camera roll, or if I hit Instagram, you can share it directly to all of your social media. Mine's fine, I'm filming here in my house, but if you did film outside, you also have the option to clean up the audio to remove any background noise. And that's it. That is how to easily add captions within your iPhone using the Veed Captions app. I really hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye.